गुड मॉर्निंग असलकुम होप एवरी थिंग विल बी फाइन एज बिफोर सो वट डू यू थिंक दैट आर यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड माई वर्डिंग नाउ येस बिकॉज यू हैड अ फन विद रेन एंड मार्टिन ऑलवेज एंड इन ऑल द लेक्चर्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आवर ग्रामर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड लैंग्वेज स्किल्स सो वट डू यू थिंक दैट आर यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द टेंसेज नाउ येस बिकॉज टूडे वी हैव अवर टॉपिक ऑफ द टेंसेज फर्स्ट द पॉइंट इज दैट हाउ मेनी टेंसेज आर देयर so let's begin tenses are of three types present past and future but what do you mean by the word tense first it is that when we talk about a specific time or the era or the duration of that time is your tense this is a time description so the time description is tense so how many time descriptions are there there are three types of time descriptions that is present past and future so what's present when we talk about any present thing that is happening now or nowadays this is your present what is past past means that has happened before the yesterday the day before so these are all your past that has happened what about the future which is going to be like after the lecture you people will be able to write so many sentences i am talking about future obviously because this will done after me after the lecture so got it how many tenses are there let's count once again 3 1 present 2 past and three future so three tenses are there for you to work on it after working on it you will be able to divide these three tenses into more types of the tenses because there are present past and future is related to many of the tenses more so let's have some of the examples of these three tenses and will you will be able to identify more and more tenses let's see first the present and the past in the present tense what is the identification of being something present here it is like i'll give you some examples amna is cooking amna is cooking is a present but how you are going to identify it that she is now doing so but if i add today to it it becomes also present because i am talking about a specific time today amna is cooking today but if i change it into past how how will i convert it like amna cooked but here i have added today i have given a specific time so i shall change it to the specific time means so how i am going to change it i shall write amna was yes i have changed this thing also because this is a be verb and we are going to discuss it later in the next lecture in which you will be able to understand more and more helping verbs that is amna was cooking and today will be changed to yesterday exactly because we are talking about a specific time yesterday amna is cooking today and amna was cooking yesterday this tells us about many of the things here that we are now able to understand the present and the past let's move to the more examples that is it rains it rains this also tells us something is happening now and moreover if i change it without any specific day or the timing i'll change just this form of the verb which will be it rained got it now you can easily identify the two differentiations here that tells us something about the specific timing and something about no timing mentions here but this tells us about the present and this is the example of past so let's move to one more example 
Kareem visits us daily. If I use this thing, daily here, this tells us the continuity of the time that Kareem visits us daily. So how I am going to change it into the past? I shall use Kareem visited us. Daily will be changed to last night because I have to put some specific timing here and I want to add it to the daily basis. But then I am talking about something that has been changed to daily and then I shall convert it into past. It becomes last night. Okay, today and daily tells us something that is present and yesterday and last night tells us something that is past. So now we are able to identify more and more sentences. Have a look on your books, page number 83. This page is very interesting. If you have a look on uh, this page, exercise 1 is going to be your best exercise because now you are able to identify the present tenses and the past. Have a look on it. Abdul reads well. Abdul reads well. Yes, reads is a present. This verb tells us that this is a present tense. Number two tense sentence is, I always work hard. I always work hard. Work, exactly. Work is your present tense again. What's next? Hens lay eggs. Lay, yes. Number four, the chimney fell down. Here is fell. Yes, because fell is the past tense. This is your past. The next one is number five. Babu filled it well. Have you ever filled it? I am talking about your past. Filled it. While cr playing cricket. Filled it. Exactly. Filled it is your past. Have a look on the more sentences. Like number six, Rashid speaks English. What Rashid is doing? I am talking about present, speaks English. So speaks is a verb that tells us it is present. Number seven, you talk too much. Talk, what you are doing, what is your action here? Talk. So all we are talking about is an action of someone. The action is actually your present, your past, your future. That is uh, here we are doing so. So rest of the sentences will be done by you yourself. Now it's time for the comparison of past with the future. What's that? Let's see. Past and future. Because now my dear students are able to identify, to recognize the difference of present with the past. Now it's time for past with the future. We'll have a look on few of the sentences as an example. I saw Roshet yesterday. It's going to be my first sentence. I saw Rashid yesterday. This sentence tells me about past because I am talking about yesterday. Specific time has been given to you here that tells us about past which has passed yesterday. Kal, yesterday. It's gone. It's not back now. So it's your past. How I am going to change it to future? Because future talks about something that will happen to us. The action that has not happened, that was not happened, that will be happened. And this will tell us about the changes. That we are here going to use a helping verb of will and shall. So how we are going to change? In this lecture, we will just discuss the simple tenses of present, past and future. The rest of the sentences kinds will be discussed in the later uh, examples. So, I saw Roshit yesterday is a past. How I am going to change it to future? I shall and I shall use saw into see because I have to change the form of the verb here. I shall see Roshit. This tells us about the future that I shall see Rashid. How I shall see Rashid again? I shall see Rashid tomorrow. Yes, because now I am talking about the day that has not come yet. So tomorrow will be your future timing. 
This is your past timing and this is going to be your future timing. Got it? So now rest of the sentences will be very easy for us to understand. Have a look on the second example. I have selected one more example for you that is again about Rashid. Rashid won the first prize that year. Rashid won the first prize that year. That year is not a specific time but I am talking about that year has passed. So it is your past tense. Now if I convert this sentence to the future, what I am going to use, I shall use Rashid will. Rashid will win the first prize this year because that has been changed to this year. I am now talking about this year, what's going on, what will happen this year. So Rashid will win. Now I have to change the form of the verb here again. So I shall change want to win as first form of the verb. Rashid will win the first prize first prize this year that will be changed to this because this is going to be happened. Okay, so what we have learned from the past to the future is one specific thing and that is a helping verb along with the use of first form of the verb. So let's have a look on few of the examples of helping verb will and shall. So will and shall shows us future tense. So these helping verbs are used for the future. Let's have a look on your book pages. So now we can easily identify the three types of the sentences that are about the tenses. Present, past and future. Have a look on page number 84. Number 1. Kabir reads his lesson. What Kabir does? Yes, we are talking about the present obviously. So select reads. He reads. Reads is your present tense. Number two. Our uncle will tell us a story. What uncle will do? He tells us and he tells us, tells, tells us that this is the present one. Exactly. Number three. Birds fly in the sky. This is a natural phenomenon and we all know that birds always fly. They are always flying. So this is the present one and what's the action here? That is fly. Number four sentence is the dogs lay on the floor. What's the difference? Dogs lay. It means this is the habit of the dogs that they lay on the floor and this is the present and the action is lay. Number 5, I shall see you tomorrow. Yes, time for future tense. That tells us by using the helping verb that we are talking about the future timing. So shall is your what? Helping verb and see is your future tense. So shall see, future. Number 6, the parrot flew about the room. What parrot did? Flew. This is your past. Exactly. Now rest of the sentences will be done by you yourself with a great fun. But time to move on page number 86. Exercise number 3 is very interesting exercise. Again you have to pick out the verbs in the following sentences and tell the tense of each. Just you have to identify the tense. No need to tell them about any verb and action. Just have to identify. I shall be 15 next Friday. Yes, we are talking about that timing that has not come yet. So this is your future tense. Number two, I shall buy a camera. Again we are talking about that timing is, has not come yet. So this is again your future and will and shall helping verbs are also helping us out to tell us about their future timing. Number three, the children obey the teacher. Now, right now the children obey the teacher. This is the present one exactly. Number four, we went home early. Went, second tense. 
form of the verb. This tells us about which tense? Past, exactly. Number five, the dog crossed the field. Now again, second form has been used that tells us about the past tense, exactly. Number six, I shall start next Monday. This again tells us about the future timing that has not come yet. So now rest of the sentences will be done by you. Have a look on the next exercise on page number 87. Exercise number 4. This is again very interesting for you. Fill in the blanks with the correct forms of the verb. You have to put the form of the verb to yourself. This is an action. Let's see. Number 1. How does Saima read? Now we are talking about Saima's action that read. So Saima dash well. What she does? She reads well. Reads. The action will be put again into the other sentence. That is the answer of it. Reads. Number two. How did she read yesterday? Now they have asked us about the past tense. Yesterday. How did she read yesterday? The answer is she dash quickly. She read quickly because we are talking about the past so we have to give the answer in the past. This is particularly for those students who comprehend any paragraph because when you are talking about the questions and answers be careful about questions and answers that if a question has been given to you in the past you have to answer it again in the past and if they have asked you about the present you have to answer them in the present so read 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 although the spelling are same always about the read r e a d but you have to pronounce it as read she read well let's have a look on number 3 did he speak in the english did he did tells us about again the second form of the verb that we are going to answer them in present or past yes we are, will talk about them in the past like yes he spoke in english again we have used the second form of the verb here number four whom did you meet in the street again they have asked the question in past and what will be the answer obviously in the past I met, I met my friend in the street. Now page number 88, the rest of the sentences will be done by you in the same way. You have to put the correct form of the verb by selecting and by identifying the question here. Okay, so 89 page is very interesting again. That is exercise number 5. And don't forget to complete your pair work. Make a pair of your sibling and your friends and please do all those activities that has been given on your book pages. Like number 88 is the, a very good activity. If you will do uh, work on this activity, you will be very beneficial. Uh, sentences uh, will come to your mind and uh, it will be very grateful job for you from the rest of the sibling at your home. Like. Uh, if you have a sister or a brother at your home, please use to uh, do this activity and uh, also give a feedback of it. Page number 89 is again about a few form of the verb according to the tenses and I hope that you are able to do so but I shall help you in this regard by completing few of the sentences like number one, my cousin to write is your form of the verb and my cousin dash a neat hand in his last letter. This is about the last letter that tells us about the past tense. So we will use the verb, form of the verb here, wrote. Number two, I will also dash a neat hand next time. Now they are talking about the next time which tells us about the future. So I will write, write, yes exactly. Number three, I dash him long ago. I know him. This is about the present time. So I shall use the form of the verb know. Number four, did you dash this way yesterday? Now we are talking about the yesterday timing. So this is about go because always there is one formula and a hint for you that whenever a date comes in your sentence, you have to follow first form of the verb. This is a very important formula of using uh, any of the tense in the past. That be careful if there is already one second form of the verb, you are not supposed to use any second form of the verb in the same sentence. You have to follow the first form of the verb which we have done in this sentence like did you go this way yesterday? Hope that next of the sentences will be done by you very well. Page number 90. 
will tell us about exercise number 6 that is very interesting again and you have to put few of the form of the verbs here again fill in the blanks with the verb we dash cricket what we did with the cricket obviously we do we uh, play cricket we are not able to eat cricket we are not able to do some other action with the cricket we play cricket exactly number two bees dash honey bees make honey or produce honey exactly number three is he rides his bike number four cows give us milk now be careful about this uh, form of the writing again because cows is a plural word and when we use any of the plural there is no need to write s or es this point of view will be discussed in the next topic because that is about uh, uh, present indefinite which is the simple form of the present so next of the sentence is number five birds dash nests what, what birds do again we are going to follow this uh, criteria that birds are the plural and we are not going to add any s or es to it so birds make nests I hope that this was a beneficial lesson for you and the rest of the sentences will be done by you yourself as your homework. This is your task, not mine. So my dear students, I hope that all these lectures were very beneficial for you. How? Let's see. You can all see on your computer screens or your mobile screens that some pages are in front of you. What these pages are telling you? That the tech tip sentences have been done for you just to guide you just as a help but what we are going to do with the rest of the sentences yes we are going to follow a famous code that is a practice makes a man perfect and we are going to follow these uh, practices in our assignments yes because we all know that if you will practice more and more on the rest of the sentences that I haven't done for you, it means that you will become the perfect one. So I want my all students to be the perfect. So keep on practicing as your assignment for all these sentences. Okay, best of luck. Have a nice day. Take care. Allah Hafiz.